Hey guys, today we get to talk about the Frontier format. Frontier format is getting much more expensive as several cards have spiked around 500%. And the Feza, the foremost, is a very strong card. It sees some play in modern, but not enough to justify its recent spike of almost, let's say, 400, 500%. The spikes are happening because of the Frontier format, directly as a result. Now, a lot of you will ask, hey, I thought Frontier was supposed to be cheap. It's supposed to be a cheaper version of Modern. It is, kind of, if you played. So if you play Legacy, when Legacy first came out, and you had the original Dual Lands when they were $5, $2. I remember Dual Lands, no one knew what the price was for Dual Lands because there wasn't a price guide. The internet was just developing back in the day. And as a kid, I didn't even have access to the internet. We didn't have smartphones. So cards were extremely cheap. And as long as you held on to your collection 22 years ago, you would think Legacy is really affordable because you paid $10 for your deck with the four Tundras and the four Underground Seas. True story. Now, when you talk about Frontier, it's the same concept. And we're going to look at Dig Through Time, which is now $5 from $1. And the key here is the card would, the card is pretty much at all-time low. All the Frontier cards due to rotation are at a all-time low. And there's no way to go up. There's nowhere to go except to go up. So back to the analogy of Frontier. If you played Frontier or you played Standard during the Karns of Tarkir set, you have these cards, assuming you didn't sell them. And if you did sell them, that's unfortunate because you probably sold them for pennies. But you should have play sets of Dig Through Time. You should have play sets of Anna Feza. So much of this was open. Contra Tarkir was open like crazy for fetch lands. This, you know, Dig Through Time as a rare, you should just have random copies of this card lying around uh, in bulk because so much of it, so much of it was opened and it did see play. It actually would probably be in your decks, if anything, if you didn't take apart your decks. So Frontier as a format will be cheap and affordable for people who played during Contra Tarkir and did not sell their collection at any point. And that's the majority of players during that period. And the reason that it we I didn't sell my... I typically tried to make an attempt, but for Contra Tarkir, I didn't make any attempt because... The prices were the fetch lands. You could either sell fetch lands or sell pretty much nothing. All the value was in the fetch lands after rotation. And that tanks, that really tanks the other cards like Dig Through Time, like Anna Feza, um, like Hanger Back Walker. A uh, Hanger Back Walker, you had Jace in the same set, Magic Origins. So its price could never really during the end of rotation could not be that high because Jace was still holding the majority, the lion's share of the um, set expected value. Again, this is exactly like Legacy. If you played during Legacy back in the day, you should have play sets of all the dual lands. You should have play sets of cards that, uh, like Swords of Plowshare, you should have multiple of those. Um, Lightning Bolt, definitely. If you play during Cards of Tarkir, these cards should not, you should have these cards, but if you did not play during that period of time and you want to play Frontier, ugh, you know, good luck. Good luck because I feel like these are, I'm seeing a flow where a lot of these cards are spiking and they're not spiking in a forgiving way. So a card can go from $1 to $2 and then just down to a dollar again. But a card cannot go from $1 to $5. And down to a dollar again. It's even if it does go down, it'll probably be around three dollars, maybe two fifty, something like that. So getting into Frontier at the cheapest point, if you don't already have the cards, you probably need to get in right now if that's an interesting format for you. I made a video previously before these spikes suggesting to do so. But otherwise, I mean these cards are very good in Frontier, and that's why they are spiking.